today it's gonna be special today because that's gonna be a video that I will post after it so you guys can do homework. this 
even if it's just one minute because usually one minute video I do like whole set this time I only do one now so it's very easy to watch I will post it uh, right after live yes yes uh, every Friday sure if you're lucky it might be every day <laughs> put on the timer just in case you want to do with me you can i will let's give it one minute before we start it okay put it right here all right okay so the nude you can choose any shade of nude i'm gonna go extra slow today since we have like a whole hour to do this I'm gonna go very slow. I'm gonna explain everything very thoroughly. So I get my nude out. This is Mr. B Misty Blush. Uh, it's this background right here. You can, mm, you don't need nude. You can actually play with any background, but I suggest nude because I like nude background. Uh, I wouldn't choose black background because that's black detail right here. You don't wanna lose it. Um, pink background, I wouldn't choose that. You can choose like a teal background, that'd be fine. A blue background would be fine too. Uh, I choose nude. Get me nude out. Oh, shoot. Time up. Okay, let me read other comments first. You say top coat mixed with pigment dry. Yes, top coat. Like, I, uh, um, yeah, shine top coat would be fine too. Um, so to mix this. It's a pink stained glass shell. You do need pink stained glass shell. Something to see through. Okay. And for the colors, uh, you need white. And nothing special. Just white polish. Take it out. And today, everyone going to be able to complete this. Exactly like that, too. Because you have homework. I if it's a good idea or not. I'm thinking making a group of our own on Instagram so we can communicate, we can chat, we can uh, send homework back and forth all in one uh, group platform. I don't know what you think about it, but uh, we do it right uh, at the end of the show if you think it's a good idea for us to have like a group. All right, so... Let me go ahead and paint this one nude first. So I'm putting all the brush back. Let me take it to show you guys, but now I'm put it all back so I can focus on this. All right, so let's paint a nail nude. Okay, remember you guys are gonna replicate it right now or after, okay? Which is fine if you don't if you're not at your shop right now if you don't have enough stuff out don't worry you can't th this will be homework for you this week so this is the first time we do one hour live um i'm seriously thinking about it to do it every day uh, but I don't know yet I have to uh, have time to plan this out because you know to do a, a record a video every day that's, that's, that's a lot of work so I'm, I'm gonna have to think about this but uh, I'm thinking starting now one day and then another day like uh, two three days a week and then just just uh, carry on from there um, it would be, give me a name for the group too, you know, an Instagram group. Uh, Instagram group, I think only... Well, we need more groupie in there. Groupie? Uh, yeah, groupie. Well, I don't know if we should do Instagram group, because Instagram group is only support like, what, 35 people or so? Uh, Facebook group support like, um, two, 200. 
hundred um, something. I, I want something that can support thousands of people right. just for, for later. So I don't know. Just just uh, give me some idea. Okay, so this is one, a one hour class, our first time doing one hour class. I tell people that's video for that so you can do homework later. All right, so I have this out. Now, um, nude, I already painted this. So I'm going to use a pencil to sketch this duck, okay? So I need to take shine it out and top coat this and buff this. Um, I don't know about the group yet because of the number of people that we can have in it. Um, so I don't know. Because I want to create a forum where we can communicate together too. Forum, right, so can Hear this for 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Lizzie. So I'm very excited for this. It's 4.12 p.m. Hi, Uchi Nails. Why not map? Because I'm going to buff it later. So I want to be able to see where the buff is, where the shine is, so I can keep buffing it. I want to buff out the shine. Now, if you put map on, you're not going to be able to see where the buff is. And if you draw on map, you're not going to be able to. You can only draw on a hot surface, like shiny top coat. That's why I put shiny top coat first. And then I buff it. Because if you put mat on, you will have issue using your pencil. That what people's uh, major problem is. They try to do, uh, they try to draw on mat. It's impossible. On shine is harder, but of course the shiny surface is hard to draw on. Also, because it needs to be buff, so that more traction on it. But the surface of mat is too rubbery for the, your pencil. Because if you ever try to draw on mat, you will know. You know that it's impossible. Take forever. You know, something just hit me. Is maybe. Let me take a piece of paper. Can you get me a piece of paper, Dustin? Yeah. 
uh, a, a no okay. notepad. That worked too. All right, so I'm gonna sketch it out. So this head shape is like this. Okay, if you keep going, it'll become a teardrop. So this whole thing, that's what you need to draw, okay? So I'm gonna draw that. And I'm gonna start, um, this is where the head is, because I need some space for the bow. So this is where the head is. Um, the whole body is gonna end about right here. So from here to here is a whole body, probably a little earlier than that. Probably right about here. So the head is twice half of the body. From here to here, the head takes half of the body, have a big head. So with that, uh, from here to here, that's the whole body. So I'm gonna the head gonna be about this, this much. I'm gonna from here to here. So I'm gonna make a round shape. follow along with me make sure you do just that if you cannot follow along you can take screenshot more than welcome to say take screenshot of this all right i'm gonna keep, gonna keep going now the mouth i don't know if it's high enough let me put it a little higher now the mouth there is a curve come to about from here the end of the head to about right here with two third of the head is a curve and then it's curved oppositely okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this top part first so that is a little curve okay and when it comes to here is it's curved oppositely okay what you need to do more than welcome to take screenshot of this or if you go along with me go ahead and sketch that out um it's plasma ebony uh, graphite it's just darker than regular pencil yep or you can use your regular pencil the important thing is to buff this people say why don't you mat if you use mat you cannot draw on this you have to use shine and then buff this to be able to draw on so right here i'm gonna have another curve go along with this and then stop about right here not go all the way okay just stop right here and then i'm curving this up just like that okay now underneath here i'm doing a tiny little curve and follow along with this too and then I connect the top and the bottom together more than welcome to take screenshot of this or if you follow along you can let me see that's some scribbler this morning so I will block them some scribbler let me block all the scribbler so it doesn't slow down our life hello chicky all right now the eyes is more important because you cannot make make sure you don't do it too big okay um the eye this is the middle of the head so i'm gonna mark this first this is the middles this whole thing this is the middles right here so I'm gonna draw the eye and the eye get to just about half of the head, not much. And let me draw the eye for you because so many people confuse on the eye. I want a teardrop shape, but almost, you know, it's like that, okay? I don't wanna see like brown uh, or like little eye like this or like this, you know, I wanna see almost like a, a teardrop, like a horseshoe. It's going high, curve, and going back down. That's why I want. So, from here, 
I go in straight up. <coughs> Curve. And down. Okay, this is my eye. I'm going to make another eye right here, which is about half the head, too. Okay. Just like that. And I'm making a little iris. Little iris. D is the eye. The iris is start right in the middle. And it go up, up about halfway. And it curve. That's the iris. Okay. It's going to make an iris on both sides. More than welcome to take a screenshot of this. gonna have homework i'm gonna repost a one minute uh, instruction video in uh, tinovo.shop that's my smaller instagram page i want to grow it um so i will post right after this right after the live i'll post it right after remember to go in right after and comment and like okay i'm gonna draw uh the eyebrow the yeah. eyebrow about this top distance of the eye to the top of the head, the eyebrow is halfway, okay? So for the eyebrow, it's a little tricky. Let's say these are the eyes. The eyebrow is a sway, so you curve, okay? And then you curve oppositely, okay? That's sway, okay? To further break it down is going slow slanted going up going over going down and then going up again okay that's the shape of the eyes uh, the eyebrow so right here honestly i thought you were a scribbler <laughs> Sorry now, but I'm gonna draw it in anyway. Cause later it's gonna be uh, buried with paint, but it's fun. I'm gonna draw it anyway, just so I remember it. Okay. Take, take screen. Take screenshot of this. Welcome to take screenshot of this. It's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm removing them now. The scribbler. What if we call them the golden children? You know, like the first year of people. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, the bow. Okay, the bow is semi-easy. The middle of the head, do one look to do right this. That's it. Okay. Now, do another loopy do. Just like that. Welcome to take screenshot, guys. Take screenshots to remember high TST. I'm doing wonderful this morning. Now, from the meadows, you curve up into a bow like that. Welcome to take screenshot of this guy. Take screenshot of this. And then I'm curving about right here, not all the way, just about right here. And then I'm making another curve. Okay, this is the first half of the bow. Take screenshot of this guy. Take screenshot of this. Now, another one is start from here, doing another curve for the bow. Mm -hmm. Now, another one curve oppositely, but not all the way out. It's almost out. Shop so you, can, you guys can rewatch it. Um, of course, on 
this one hour live versus a minute videos, you guys gonna get uh, to see me answer all the questions, all the do's and don'ts. It's gonna be more details, but a one minute video on just one now is very easy to rewatch and redo it later. So remember, after this, if you don't cannot go along with me now, then after I do it live, you I will post it on tnovo.shop so you get a chance to see it. And not the website, the Instagram page. Okay. But still, the live is better because I can answer the question right after this too. So it's uh, slightly more detailed on, on the live than on the videos. Just like that. Take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot of that. Now, the body, um, the body, this is a whole circle, okay? So, make sure you start from here to here and end about right here. The whole circle. Half of the circle. Like that, okay? Take a screenshot of this. Hi, Maka, Slaka, hello. Remember, tinovo.shop is an Instagram page, too. Don't go on the actual website. I don't post it on website. I post it on the small Instagram page right after this. So, so don't mistake tinovo.shop for the website that I post. And you go on the website, you wouldn't see anything. Remember, it's my Instagram page, tinovo.shop. It's a small page. I'm growing it. That's why I, I post. I'm posting it so you can go in and like and comment, and then rewatch it so you guys can redo this. And then if you guys tag me on that page, I can repost it for you. So uh, I think I have about twenty thousand on the uh, small page. But if I repost it for you, it's also good too. It's good algorithm for you. So now you have two repos, one in Votino and one in Tinovo.shop. So you get a chance for people can see your work too on both pages. Now, I'm, I'm, I trust that you take screenshot of this so you don't uh, forget this. Let me block some of the um, scribbler. Got some uh, Indian scribbler going around here. Then, okay, now, oh, you don't understand my language. Um, I can only speak span. Uh, I only speak English and a little Spanish. So if you're from another country, um, at least you can watch it by eye. At least you have that option of uh, watching. Most people don't even let you watch. Most people make you pay for it. See his little feet right here. Okay, so I'm done with sketching the ducks. Okay, take the screenshot of this. Now I'm gonna paint. Painting, I will take out a white gel and have your pigment ready. Any white polish will do. Uh, make sure that it's slightly sticky though. Not no wipe, okay? If it's no wipe, you cannot use pigment. So make sure your wipe is uh, cure sticky. I would choose a pointy brush first. This pointy brush right here is a round brush. So unlike the filler brush, which is one stroke, this one you can do circular motion too. I will paint the whole face. So I slap right here in the middle. And then spread it out using a clean brush I spread that white out to the edge that's how I paint that I don't really pick up paint um quite often I I slap it out in the middle first and then later I, I go back and drag it out like this see it so much more convenience here in the bottom, the butt, one dot, 
ชื่อได้คลีนไม่ปราศไม่เสียแต่ไอ้หับมันมันพัง and I will just scatter it out on the edge I'm more digging on doing nail on counter painting now because it's so soothing to me and it's so easy too you just need uh, you need minimum amount of material you just need brush and paint you don't need any special effect or anything like that so I love counter painting Clear this, please. After this, you're gonna use pigment. Okay, clear it full clear. Now I take out my paper towel and mix pigment. This part right here um, is important to watch on live and on videos. Hola, hola, Julian. Uh, no habla English, ya yeah, no hablo, uh, hablo poquito español, hablo poquito español. <coughs> All right, now you take blue out, okay? Blue pigment, purple mix with it. You need to blend it all together to create these sort of periwinkle colors. And I will add just a little bit of yellow into it to neutralize this, make it look grayish. But just a little bit of yellow, no, not too much. Just so it's not too. Colorful, it's kind of grayish. I have a feeling I need a little more purple because it's a little greenish. I need a little purple just to return the warmness back to it. Okay, so this is what you're gonna use for shadowing. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out on the video, it's kind of quick, but on here you get a chance to see me mix. Thank you, Tina. Cảm ơn nha, Tina. Chút nữa mình làm xong là Tina coi lại nha. Coi lại được ở trên Tinovo Dark Shop á, cái, cái Instagram á, Instagram Tinovo Dark Shop là chút nữa mình sẽ post lại cho cho mọi người coi, coi là nhớ làm theo nha, làm theo xong rồi uh, post cho mình biết. Now I'm gonna blend this slightly right here. Take a screenshot uh, along, please, so you can redo this. Now. Uh, Eyebrow right here. And then some shadow right here. And then, you know, if there are foreigner in here that doesn't speak English, if you um If you speak the, the same language as them, please help them too. For me. See how you shadow this? Take a screenshot of this, please. So you remember this. Now, um, next step is I'm going to do the bow. No, I'm going to put an eye first, actually. Gonna take white polish and put on the eye. No, actually, uh, yeah, put on the eye first. Just like this. This pointy brush right here is save you a little more time than the liner brush. Shot of this. What color pigment do you use for shadowing? Uh, you missed that part. You can rewatch it later. Um, 
color pigment I use blue purples so it become like a cool uh, purples and then after I use uh, blue purple I use a little more white so it become lighter and then I use a little uh, yellow to neutralize it Someone of moderators so they can uh, uh, hey um anyone that can be my moderator so can remove scribbler for me uh please text me like hot 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 so I so I know and then I will make you moderators. Uh Claude by Frankster, I'm not recognize anybody that I, I familiar with. Claude by Frankster um I'm sure Dustin remember it. Uh, okay, I will make Claw by Franksters and Ellie. All right, moderators. All right, you guys, please uh, remove scribbler for me. Block the scribbler for me, please. Oh, I can only make one person. Okay, moderator. Okay. All right. I already make you. Yeah, uh, Ellie, uh, you are moderator now. Please uh, remove the scribbler for me. Thank you, Ellie. All right, now let's keep going. So now I already cured this. I want, I, I don't want it to be wet. So I take white pigment and I applied it all over this just to make sure that it's all have pigment in it. So now it's not wet because when it's wet, if I do another a part and I put pigment on it, it's my stuck on the wet gel and I don't want that. That's why I do it like that. But I put white pigment on so now it's all filled with pigment. Now, this is uh, high LA. Um, this is one hour live. Uh, I will not repeat anything. Um, one hour live, I started at 10 this morning. And uh, for one hour live, uh, I'm instructed people how to counter painting and then after after that I um I recorded a one minute video of this and posted on my Instagram page but not the big one the small one tinovo.shop that's the Instagram page that uh, I have and I will post it on there so you can rewatch it and whatever it is that you see on here um you will get like a, a redraft of your memories when you rewatch um when you watch the uh, one minute video of this. So you can rewatch it later and redo this. So I painted two feet for the ducks. Yes, our uh, one hour video. Uh, next time, you guys, it's very important for you to show up on time in the one hour video because the one hour video is not nails party. I'm not repeating anything. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting it through. I'm going as slow as I can for you, but I'm not repeating it. Um, so the one hour video, you can rewatch it later. So you can uh, re replicate this and attack me on this. Yeah, uh, Claw by Frankster, I... I, I put Ellie as um, the moderator, but then I put you as moderator, but I couldn't. Apparently, uh, Instagram only let me uh, to one person as moderators. But um, please uh, remove the scribbler for me, because, oof, they're coming fast, too, you know. Okay, that's one, that's one Apple. That, that's one right there. Apple Z, Ellie, re remove them for me. orange pigment I will use orange pigment and uh, this color right here kind of dip it kind of deep not the bright orange a deep orange just right in the middle of the mouth just for some shading and then on this 
feet, just half of the half of the feet right here. Okay. Again, I'm gonna take white pigment and just apply right on it. So it is not wet. I don't want it to be wet. Interfere with other pigment, uh, other part of the nail, of the design. So now it all soaked in white pigment, so it's not wet. Uh, white pigment, because pigment is so easy to blend. Uh, sometimes when you draw and if you take gel to blend, it might be more difficult. That's why you pigment. If you want uh, to plan by gel, you can. So now I'm making, taking white polish and I'm putting on the whole body. Here this. Oh, that's still Scribbler, Ellie. Hmm. Ellie might X out. Hey, now, Edit, do you want to be uh, moderators? I don't know how this works. I still seeing Scribblers. Raiders, but uh, she wasn't removing um, the scribbler, so I'm trying to find her again. Okay, take this out. Now, um, I'm going to add some shadow in this body too, using the same pigment that I just mixed, the grayish pigment. So these are the shadows. Putting some white pigment right here so it's all clear, it's not wet. I'm adding some white arm right here. Here this. only for white pigment no uh, I don't but because it's so light I just uh, removing the excess pigment like this and I put on the white right after it shadow on this too on the arms now I'm gonna take stained glass gel number four and I'm gonna put it on top of the body shadow so I just start out with white and add shadow and now I put sheer pink on top so now I can see 
the light and the shadow to get us. Uh, paper towels. I mean, you pick them on the paper towels. I wonder if Chicky can be my moderators, because I still see scribblers. Or Coco Bunny. Oh, I don't, I don't know about Chicky. Okay. Because she's always so focused. It'll take away from what she's doing. Yeah. Now, uh, some white. I'm putting on this. Just this part here. Coco Bunny. Okay. Seem like I couldn't yet. I couldn't. I don't know why. Can I make her moderators? Let's just, uh, Next slide. Next slide. Um, I probably text one first and ask if they can be my moderator. Oh, I should put. Uh, I should put um, myself myself as moderators. Oh, my small page. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can sit here and you just teach me how to strike them down. I would get great pleasure out of that. Now, yellow. I will only dust to about. I'm not dusting it all the way. Just from the bottom up. Just like that. That's why I only do that part first. Now I'm going to fill the rest in. Just like that. Here it is. yellow right about here the dot right here Kia I trust that you take screenshot along so you can redo this. in with white remember to use the white polish that are sticky here this thank you everyone what brush do you use uh, 
you using I'm using a pigment brush no worry a la la goodies um I uh, I have a one minute video that I'm gonna post on um, tinovo.shop, the Instagram page, tinovo.shop, so you can rewatch it later too. Except for it one minute, but later uh, if you watch it, it will rejoin your memory on this, so you can replicate this. Add a little white for the hand. Here and now I'm ready to uh, put line on it. Please make YouTube for your live eventually, but now I'm really busy. Um, I recorded a short video for now. I might boost that video on YouTube too, but uh, the first side I'm going to put on is a small Instagram page, sustainable.shop. That way you can watch it and redo it. Before, uh, before I'm top coating this to put line on this, I need to make like a little cut, like a little apron for it. I'm taking the engraver. This is an engraver and mixer. I'm taking this and I'm putting a little circle around this. Yes, yes, and you know, for for um for people that really want to learn, they just have to really pay attention. Could I say if they miss it, they miss it. Especially for one hour live, if they miss it, they miss it. So if you want to learn, you just have to pay attention. Yeah. So you don't miss out on it. Yeah. And for one hour live, I'm thinking uh, each design that I do, I'm, I will only do it once. I will not repeat it because we have to do more. Uh, different design. I'm gonna use matte top coat to to match this so I can put line on this. Um, because what the point of repeating it on a one hour live? Um, instead of do different design, I'm thinking it's better to do different design next time. Uh, design that I repeat properly, I would do it on like nails party, but not these. Since these are character painting, so we want to paint different characters next time. We don't want to do the same things. Now, for the um, lines, I'm using black metal effect. And then I'm also going to use white metal effect. You can use any gel paint that you like. Use your favorite gel paint uh, that have a good consistency for line work. For line, I'm using 10 millimeters. You can use a 7 millimeter if you wish to. 
now let's do some line over this. It should be simple enough for you to follow along. There's there not a lot of tricks involved when it comes to character painting. That really just um, orders like what did you, what did you do first? And I, I sketch it first. That would make it easy for me. And then sometimes I uh, have to, I use the light pigment to shade it. Because sometimes I do hate just using gel and just try to brush it and shade it. And it is streaky. It's not quite perfect. So to me, this is perfect using pigment. Eyelashes. Another eyelash over here. Black line out here. Low V. so you can see my details. thing is my favorite too because you get to see it come to life. Next 
time I make my small page Tinevo shop moderators so they can remove scribblers. so I can remove. Uh, what are in time you do live? Uh, for one hour live, uh, I'm not sure yet. You do have to pay attention to the schedule. Um, the schedule is on my Instagram bio. I will post it um, beforehand. Like I posted this last night. Um, Wednesday is for sure. Wednesday is Nell's party. Interactive day usually is Sunday and Monday. One hour live uh, is still sporadic, and I should do it sporadic. Uh, yes, um, comment. I need, uh, yeah, scribbler, they need to go. Um, right now, I'm still drawing and looking at the screen drawing, looking at the screen removing um, scribbler. But later, I will make Dustin um, a moderator. I just couldn't make it now because I actually make someone moderator, but they couldn't remove the scribbler. No, I don't need you here with me. You have to keep um, the dog down. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some white details. See, it's extra. You can do it if you want, or you can skip it if you want. If it's too uh, difficult for you, you can skip the white part. The black part is a must, but the white part you can skip it if you like. I just think that it's give it a little extra. So the people that are familiar with the live would most likely oh, okay, catch slap, eh? uh, one day I'm going live on the one hour live. Jij en Kane. Jij en Kane. Allebei. Hij zal ook, hij zal ook werken. Ook werken. Ik heb hem uit zijn bed geschopt. your homework let's hear this and i'm gonna put some pixie gel on it just because i think it's cute to add gold frame around it i don't need to key all the way
Thank you, YD some nine some eight. Thank you, Devon. Meow. Oh wait, you're talking to the cat. Okay, not talking to me. Um, let's get some uh gold. Pixie gel. These go pixie gels. Go pixie gel. It doesn't need high. Um, it doesn't need flash for it to glow. But to twinkle, it's twinkle onto strong daylight too. So I just frame it around uh, the duck to make it special. make sure um, we have to discuss what to do with our next one hour live. What character do we want? Uh, Sunday interactive live gonna be Sailor Moon. That's where we go along and do it together. Here it is. And Sailor Moon can be semi-difficult, you guys. So you you better uh, prepare for this. Sailor Moon is, is going to be semi-difficult, okay? Make sure you're on time on Sunday. Make sure you have all the pencil and and, and brushes. Oh, Tweety Bird. Good, 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 good idea. Uh, Tweety Bird. I already do Betty Boot. Let's do Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird next one hour live, which I don't know when. But I'll post it on my story, on my Instagram bio. Um, be ready for this. You guys gonna do it with me on Sunday. Sunday, I'm not, not gonna demo it. We're gonna dive in right in it right away. Okay, let's take this out. This is your homework. Okay. Oh look. Like twin. Okay, the, your homework right here. Oh wait, I, I forgot the shadows. Okay, let me show you how to do the shadow. Shadow, uh, you take shine or matte, matte. I think matte is good. So you take matte and you mix with black. How heavy it is, it's up to you. I don't want my shadow to be too heavy. Since this is a matte top coat, you don't have to top coat this. You can just add the shadow right about here. Here it is. Uh, uh, it's not like Friday, it's a one hour day. Uh, I plan to have one hour quite often, one hour live quite often. Now, uh, I don't think it will be a concrete schedule day. I think it will be quite sporadic. Um, however, the prime time should be at 10, because India uh, love 10 o'clock here, because then at 8 30 p.m. in India. Um, Sydney is also is a good time for Sydney to Australia. Um, thank you, thank you. Oh, you can draw that good. You can draw this because I teach it already. Now I'm gonna uh, post this. Okay. Let's see. All right. So now, before I post it, I need to say goodbye to you guys. Sunday, yes, remember Sunday be on time. Check my Instagram too. Um, I forgot to tell you for the you that doesn't know la the live, you have to check this in order for you to, to see. See, day, time, everything is right here. Everything that I schedule is right here. I will post it on stories a day before. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I want you to 
take a picture, take a picture of it so you can repost this. Take a picture of it in five, four, three, two, one. All right, and then I'm gonna post this right now. So uh, help my page grow by going in and click like. I'm gonna post it right now. Oh wait, it's on the other phone. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna post it. Make sure you go on um, tnovo.shop right here. tnovo.shop. That's my smaller page. Okay, rewatch it. And then redo it, okay? I'm getting up now. I'm gonna post it. Make sure you go in, like, and comment. Bye, you guys. See you guys Sunday. Take care. Coco Bunny, take care. Take care, Tom. TJ. See you guys Sunday. See you guys Sunday. Bye bye. Bye bye, YD 7978. Bye bye. I'm gonna get up here now. Remember, go go in immediately to Tinovo.shop. 